So we're about to get ready. Today is super hot out of all days to leave the house. Today's like the hottest day. Let's see if this is a good match. Yeah, I literally cannot tell I'm wearing anything. Oh my God, this base is not working out for me. It is so dark. Today I need some brightening. So I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the shade 140, very brightening. Like maybe too brightening. I'm back with the finished look and it has to take off all that makeup to redo it because my blush came out so blotchy. I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with the Rare Beauty blushes, but in this case, it was definitely my fault because I put a powder blush over it before I set it. This time with my makeup, I did not use any foundation or a skin tint because it's just too hot for that. And then for the fragrance of the day, I want to smell like a mojito. So this is You or Someone Like You by, I would just say right E-T-A-T -T, and it's gonna come up. I'm gonna honestly spray some of my hair too. I know people say that this is gonna dry out your hair. It has not affected my hair, just like a few spritzes here and there. But you know, don't, don't do what I say. That's just what I do. from Meshki and I completely forgot what I ordered. I forgot that I ordered from Meshki. I don't know what's in here and I'm gonna try everything on. Let me know in the comments though what I should keep and what I should return because I will find a reason to keep something. It seems like I got four things, a cream, two whites, and black. I did say a while back that I wanted to incorporate more color into my wardrobe, but I think some of these things might be for like my bachelorette or bridal just like to stock up on bridal stuff i don't know let's find out this is the first item satin midi dress black in a size small okay i remember this one i bought just to have this is what the dress looks like wow it's just beautiful but i think this is for the itty bitty committee because i have my boobs tucked and do you see how it looks like from the side it's about to just if I shove my breast down, half of it is down here and half of it is up here. But let me know, does this look better now? Is it obvious that I'm trying to squish my boobs into this dress and trying to make it work? I'm in love with the slit, the back. This is also double lined. I feel like I might just try to make this work. Again, I'm trying to justify this. So be honest with me. Let me know if I should change it. You can see the part that I pushed down right there. Um... Damn, I really want to keep this one. Excuse that egghead, I had to put my hair up because it was really hot. And I feel like it also just gives the dress a moment for itself. This is the next dress. Something that I have noticed a lot is that my boob is like half down here and then half up here. And if I were to put this down, that's a little bit too much for me. Definitely got this dress for my bachelorette next year, which I have not booked yet. But damn, this quality is so nice to the point that I feel like I might be too hot in it. These straps are adjustable and so is the knot in the front. Keep or return? This is another dress that I got for bridal purposes. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear, but I feel like I will definitely get wear out of this even after I get married. Just like you can't go wrong with a mini black dress, you can't go wrong with a mini white one. This is also triple lined. It has a silky layer and then two layers of this material that's outside. And it has this lining right here to grip it to your skin so it doesn't constantly fall down, which is definitely a pet peeve of mine when I'm wearing strapless shirts, strapless dresses. I definitely love this one. And y'all, I did get something for the season that we're going into this is almost the same material as that long white dress that i showed you just stretchier and i love when sleeves go past like my knuckles if you know what i mean the girls that get it get it it's a cropped long sleeve this part you can kind of play with you can bring it down if you want you can keep it up here as well but i feel like it's meant to be worn like this oh i actually just noticed that it is backless this part right here is a nice touch 
But I'm definitely going to be wearing these with jeans, an oversized jacket. I can already see it. I'm going to oil my scalp. And I'm doing this because my hair, first of all, is really dirty. Second of all, it's my fiance's birthday tomorrow and the day after is our anniversary. The reason why it's only one day apart is because when we first started dating, I was in college and I came back for Labor Day weekend. It was his birthday and we're hanging out, just walking on the boardwalk and then it hit 12 and we're still hanging out. That was his last day before I went back to school, which was four hours away. And that is why our anniversary is a day after his birthday. Now, I don't know what we're doing for our anniversary. I don't know if we're going to be celebrating it on that Thursday or if we're going to wait for the weekend. I feel like, I mean, I don't know. I think he's planning something. But tomorrow we are going to go out for his birthday. I made a reservation at this steakhouse in the city that's supposed to be one of the best ones. And he loves his steaks, so I'm really excited to see if he's gonna like it. And I just wanna have my hair ready for that. So I'm gonna oil my scalp and let it sit for a few hours. And the one that I like to use is from Ceremonia. This is Aceite de Mosca. I've used scalp oils before, and they tend to be a little bit too thick, or I don't know what it is about them, but when I go wash it off with a detox shampoo or with a scalp scrub, I shampoo like three times if necessary. And it's still there, like the residue just doesn't want to rinse off. But when I use the Ceremonia one, it doesn't matter if I use a detox shampoo or a regular shampoo, it rinses off clean. I also forget to oil my hair until I'm about to wash my hair. So today I'm going to let it sit for a few hours and then I'm going to wash it off at night. I made it all the way to Sign Island because today's my fiance's birthday. He has no idea that I'm here, but I'm here to pick up his birthday macarons. My cousin makes the best macarons, and I'm not saying that because she's my cousin. I've tasted a few and they just don't hit the same. And I'm trying to get home by the time that he gets home. I might be a little bit late and he might see them. I specifically ordered some chocolate ones, and from the sound of it, she is giving me variety. Yay! Yay! Oh my god, this is so many. But this is that's just for you for the car. And then this wow. is his box. This one has the cookie and the raspberry. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Mmm. I don't know why he's not home, but I'm not gonna question it. I have the macarons here and I have to show you because it is so beautiful. This is her business. I eat macarons. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. Yes, I was so nervous that I wasn't gonna be back on time. My GPS is gonna be back at 7 3 I'm like, oh, he's for sure gonna be back home by then. But you weren't. These are all chocolate based. I thought this was baked on this one. What is this one? Brownie walnut, raspberry filling, pistachio, and I forgot the last one. Fiance and I's anniversary was yesterday, but we're celebrating it today and he's taking me on a spa day We're going together, but he's taking me on a spa day and then we're gonna go get some Indian food in the city I packed a little bag or a big bag. I'm not gonna use everything But I just like to have all my things just in case. What is going on here? So I pretty much packed this bag because it has a zipper and this is what I usually carry in my purse So I'm bringing it here. Just my wallet, some hand sanitizer, sunscreen stick I think that's it, yeah. And then I have an extra shirt. I think I'm gonna wear the same pants I go with because we're gonna be in the water and then getting a massage. I can just change back to what I'm wearing now. And extra underwear. 
Then in this bag, some deodorant because I am not playing around in this weather. Uh, it's 90 degrees outside. 90, that's all you have to know. A brush just in case I do wash my hair after. In here, I have some of my mini skincare products that I usually bring with me. I have a cleanser, my cleansing balm in here. This one is from Then I Met You. But these capsules are from Cadence Capsules and I always bring my skincare or hair products in here when I'm not going too far. And then a serum as well. I'm gonna even use this to be honest. Sunscreen for my face, of course. I've been using this one every single day. It's very lightweight, so it's perfect for hot, humid weather. And here I have two lip balms. One is from Charlotte Tilbury. This was actually really good, like really good. And then the K-Skin SPF 30. I always bring this one with me everywhere. And my scent of the day is gonna be Gypsy Water because I have it in the travel size. Pretty sure they're gonna give us a body wash, but I'm bringing one just in case. This one is from Skin Fix. Shampoo, conditioner, minis. I always dye, tease my minis. Any chance that I get, I'm going to bring them with me just in case. These are from Purology and this is their Hydrate line, which I think is their most popular line. They're a leave-in conditioner and I've never tried either of these, so we'll see how my hair turns out if I do wash it. This is their Vegamore hair foam.